uh, CB turning is com uh, coming later for you guys. Without further ado, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the Mafia tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about that really quick. So, like, this is something that, is, um, this is something I learned from Armada, okay? So at the summit, before summit even started, I was just like, I, I saw Armada at, like, summit 3.5. And I was just like, hey, Armada, how do you play, how do you play Mafia as town? And then I was just, and then he was just like, well, dude, what you got to do is you got to ask, you got to accuse somebody. You, you always have to talk. Okay, the first thing that you should do is you gotta accuse somebody. That's the first thing that you should do. So that's that's how I went about doing things. And that's all I knew. That's all I knew. So, like every single game, I, if you guys can remember, if you guys watched all the Mafia games, I accused everybody like within like the first five minutes. Besides for the game with like Left and Hungry Box and Mango all playing, um, I didn't really talk that much. People really, people literally just talked to me, but. But for the most part, for like for all the Speed Mafia games, I always accuse somebody like within like two minutes uh, of everyone talking. So that was that's the first thing that you guys should do if if you guys want to do good at Mafia. Just, just just say something in the very beginning. Just accuse somebody for whatever random reason that you can find. I got pretty lucky. I accused Phil, uh, one of the Mafia Knights, because he was moving. I accused. Uh, like I accused homemade waffles just because he was looking like really confident. You just gotta find some reason. Even if you're wrong, you know you can you can also say things like you know, hey, I'm gonna accuse homemade waffles because he looks confident. Uh, you know, I'm um, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just you know, I'm just getting the ball rolling. You know, something like that. So you just want to accuse somebody first the first uh, first day in the within the first five minutes of the game. Um, just so you have something to say because if you stay too quiet, they're just gonna lynch you. So you have to say something. Okay, that's the first rule. Find a reason to accuse someone. And then uh, what? The next thing that I usually do, I usually just, I, uh, uh, I usually just sit there and I just like, I just chill. And then people randomly talk to me and they're like, "Chew, I want to hear what your thoughts are are on this." Or like they're like, "Chew, I want to hear." You know what you have to say about this, and or they're like, "Chew, are you mafia?" or something like that. They'll ask me questions, some uh, related to that. So, uh, and my response is, "Guys, like, you know, I'm town." And then, you know, I smile. You know, so make sure you smile when you're saying you're town. Make sure that you say that you're a villager, uh, so that they can believe you. And then you just you just keep on going you just keep on going with that you just keep the ball rolling with that and you know just say things like you know don't vote me off because you know I'm town I'm villager don't please don't vote me off like guys we need to take out the town I mean, we need to take out the mafia in order to win this so please guys let's work together to take out the town uh, take out the mafia and so that the villagers can win so let's work together guys so you want to build you want to make a speech like that. And um, whenever they try to talk to you, uh, yeah, you constantly smile. Make, you got, you got, you got to put the smile. If you don't have the smile, then it, it's not gonna work. Okay, make sure you smile, boys. Make sure you smile. Okay, so the things are, people are still talking. People are still talking. You know, they don't accuse you anymore. They actually start thinking that you're actually villager. They they think that you're town. And then they're like, they'll they'll mutter to themselves, and you can actually hear what they're saying. They'll be they'll say things like. Yeah, Chew Dad is definitely town. You can you can just tell that Chew Dad's town with you know how happy he is, how giggly he is, and you can just see like you can just tell that he's town. So people will stop accusing you and they'll leave you alone uh, for the rest of the um you know for the for for the, for the rest of the days. Okay, so then this this plan actually will set you up to to reach like final four, the final four stages or final three. This this so this plan got me to final four or final three, which is amazing. Oh yeah, um, you you can also say say something like, I, I cannot lie. I like I, I can't lie. Just just say th things like that. You know that's another thing you could say. That's something I said in one of my mafia games. And then um, so you kind of just let people like discover themselves and like let them reveal themselves. Let mafia reveal themselves. And you you kind of like like let the logical people or like the emotional smart people figure out who's mafia just by hearing people talk. And then, so you let those guys, you know, take out the, take out Mafia one by one. And then eventually Mafia is going to be, uh, get wise to the smart guys. And then Mafia is going to take out 
you know, all the smart people. So they're going to take out Armada. They're going to take out, you know, uh, Hungry Box, Mango. They're going to take out all the smart guys. So, so that means that you're, so you're, you're setting yourself up to make it to the final four or final three. And at that point, that's when you really, really need to shine. You really, really need to shine right there, boys. So, you know, things are going to get rolling. You may, you guarantee to everybody in town that you are, that you're a town and that you're a villager. You just, you, you, you say it every time that they, they accuse you. So just make sure that you do that. And then also you have to figure out whose town as well. Hey, sir, the 30 bits. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, bro. So, yeah, you gotta, you got you gotta figure out like who's town. So as like people are getting eliminated, you gotta uh, make an alliance with all like, yo, know, like people that have similar personalities to yourself. Uh, well, to, for me, anyways, it, like a, a similar personality for me would be somebody that that also can't lie, that also is really happy, and that's also like really giggly, and that's also saying like 100%. You know, man, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm town. You know, they'll say things like that. So you align yourselves uh, with those same people. So in, in for example, in the mo in the Summit game, Lucky was like that. Homemade Waffles is like that. And uh, Alex19 was like that. So those are three people that you can 100% definitely align yourself with. So you align yourself with those people and, you ch and then you work together to get rid of like the other people that are not like that they're that are like you know trying to manipulate the situation i i, I realized this after watching mafia that if you if you notice somebody trying to manipulate the entire situation or try to take too much control of the of the group you you lynch them you take them out so i think i, th I think that's a pretty good strategy so so eventually you get to top four or top three okay in my case it's top three so this is what you do in a top three situation you have to figure out who is mafia and who is town okay and the only way to do that is to ask both people or to everyone that's left you know are you villager so you go up to crunch or you go up to like tof and you ask tof are you villager and you know tof will say yes or he'll say no and then you know you, you try to use some of that information to and you just absorb it and you just see what see what you can get from that and then that you go on to the next person and then you're like okay zoo you know are you villager are you are you like and then he'll be like dude i i'm town you know i'm telling you the truth let's let's uh uh i'm not lying to you and then you just like oh okay so like and then from there you kind of just have to determine who is town and who is mafia and you just go from there and then you make the hardest read possible and you try to get the other guy to vote with you to take out the mafia however um but yeah uh, so hopefully uh, however there's all there's situations where that doesn't work like with zoo he didn't want to vote with me i don't know why i tried to tell them that i was villager multiple times so in that situation i don't really know what to do when somebody doesn't believe you but I guess, um, you know, you just you just got to go with your gut, and you got to try your best to convince the other person and, and th to tell them that you're a villager, and to just figure out what both people are saying and why they're saying things, and you, you just try to get the other guy to vote with you. That's that's all. That's the only thing you can do. That's what I tried to do. It didn't end up working. So, like, if you get somebody like Zoo, that's that doesn't want to work with you then you're you're gonna lose unfortunately so make sure that you try your best to reach out to the person with all of your heart with all of your will with all of the truth that you can to convince the guy and tell him that you are villager and you will win the game that is my mafia tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial that's about it for the tutorial that's about it guys all right guys so our last thing that we're gonna do 